All right, so today we're going to talk about uh, lowering your blood pressure, and we're going to give you three natural ways to lower your blood pressure. So stay tuned and find out what they are. Okay, I'm going to keep it. You know what, John? I want to keep it because I still want people to understand. They don't have to go out there and buy. I'm going to buy this, all these supplements to lower my blood pressure. I'm going to give you three ones that actually they're pretty common. One is fish oils. Absolutely have shown to not only lower blood pressure, lower chance of you dying. Easy, go to the store, buy them. Now be aware that when you buy them in a transparent bottle or a transparent container, they're no good. So the bottle has to either be protected from the sunlight because it can be damaged by the sunlight. Two, vitamin D, easy vitamin, anybody can do that. Go on the store, buy vitamin D, any vitamin D, as long as vitamin D3. Start taking between 1,000 to 2,000 every day. If you're really, really low, you might need to go a little higher to vitamin D levels of 5,000 I use per, week, per day. Excuse me. And the last one is something that most people, what I love and enjoy is garlic. When you start consuming at least one clove of garlic a day, have shown to decrease your blood pressure by three or four points, which is very impressive. All right, so I'm going to surprise you now. Go ahead. I have some fish oil in the refrigerator, and I want you to look at it, and I want to get your opinion on it. Okay? Go ahead. So I'll be right back. All right, so I have Wiley's Finest Wild Alaskan <laughs> fish oil. Is this good stuff or what? Actually, I know this company, and yes, I do not like this company. This company go through a lot of testing to put the oil in there, and if you guys can see, the bottle is not transparent. They know that is if the bottle is clear, the sunlight hits it, it will damage the oil. This is very impressive. They also put on a container to even protect it even sooner, more than that. So that's what I was talking about. Yes, this is a good brand. Now, so how much, like how many grams of fish oil do you want to take? To make a difference to your health, you need between three to six grams a day. Now, it depends on the situation. You want to lower your blood pressure? Three grams will do it. Now, don't take one or two tablets because they're not going to do anything for you. Is there, do you have a preference over like the capsule versus the liquid like I have? The problem between the capsules and the liquid, the liquid you cannot take with you on the plane when you're going to fly. It's inconvenient to do that. The capsule you can take anywhere. It's more convenient. That's the only preference. Now, the fish oil's liquid, once you open them, if you open this and you leave it outside the fridge, they get damaged faster. That is the only other difference. But otherwise, no. My daughter bought me uh, from, um, where was she? In... Arctic or someplace in the north out of here, she bought me a bunch of liquid fish oils and I'm enjoying it. Okay. Yeah, I like it just because it's easy and I don't have to take a ton of pills. Okay, so you mentioned fish oil and... What, vitamin D? And vit okay, so vitamin D. I always hear... So first of all, I think like so many white guys that I work with, okay. like if you're not from a non-tropical climate, it seems like <laughs> your vitamin D levels are low. And honestly, this is something I've struggled with for many years. And I had to take mega doses, mega doses, 10,000 units every single time to even see it change. Is that common? I mean, actually, it is very common, and you'd be surprised, John. By the way, John is missing part of the intestines, so that's going to make it hard for him to absorb it. I take 10,000 I use every day. I am kind of a woozy, and I never check my blood, but 10,000 I use. I I feel great during the winter in Ohio, and the winters in Ohio, how bad are they? They're pathetic. And I'm brown skin, like John is saying. So for me, for the sun to affect me, it's even harder. So I need to keep my levels higher. So average person between 5,000, between 2,000 and 5,000 I use. Me, I need 10,000 I use to get to feel good. So I think it's um, it's a real variable there. And uh, so if you're getting blood work done, it's called a 25 OHD. 125, yes. Yeah. So 25 OHD, right? Yes, absolutely. That's what you want to ask for a 25 OHD. So you can really tell exactly where your vitamin D levels are. So now, so finishing up, you said garlic. So um, are you talking about the actual clove, just like cooking with it? Or is there like, I see like okay, garlic no. salt, I see garlic salt. No, I, don't want, I, I want to be clear on that. I don't want no garlic salt. I want the clove of garlic, the little white bulb, looks like a little light bulb. That's what I want. Crush it. I don't care how you use it in salad. You can use it to cook, use olive oil, kind of, kind of bake it a little bit in there. Just that way. Just add it to your food. Perfect. So real food. Real food is what Dr. Serrano was saying on the garden. All right. So there you go. Three easy things to implement. Piece of cake to implement that stuff. 
Thanks for watching and keep watching because we're pumping out a lot of good health videos now. If you have any questions or comments, please do it.